What's up WordPress nerds? In today's video, we're gonna be going over WPDB. It's a way that you can interact with the WordPress database from a PHP level. And it's super handy, extremely customizable, so I'm excited to share it with you all today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. And on top of that, if you're looking for a caching plugin for WordPress, make sure to check out WP Rocket. It is my favorite caching plugin for WordPress. It has everything from making sure that your um, images are lazy loaded to uh, minification for all your CSS and JavaScript. And they even have um, a CDN that you can hook up to to make your content serve even faster all around the world. So if you're interested with that, there's a link in the description. If you end up buying a license using my link, I get a small kickback, but the price is the same to you. So either way, small way of supporting the channel if you are interested. All right, so let's jump into WPDB. So if you're not familiar with WPDB, it is a global variable that you can use to make queries onto your database, um, whether you need to insert something, delete something, retrieve some information, whatever. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over retrieving data because there's a handful of methods that this um, class gives you. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna just uh, take a look at the first one here, which is one that you'll probably use quite a bit. Um, so we have um, WPDB, which is a class, and then there's a method on that class that is called get results. And basically it's just, you pass in a string of an SQL, SQL query, and it will return the results in an array for you. Um, you may notice right here that you also have access to um, specific properties inside of this class that um, are representations of table names and things like that. And in this case, we have the post table. Uh, you could just write out WP posts, but there could be plugins or things that you do to the database that might change what that prefix is and things like that. So um, arguably, this is a, a better way to do it, um, but I'll leave that up to you. So in this uh, query, we're just grabbing um, four posts. We're trying to grab them by post date, and let's just kind of see how that does here. Let's var dump posts, and let's refresh our page here. And up here at the top, we have four posts, and we are grabbing just the post title, and we've got the exact amount that we wanted. So it comes in an array of objects. So perfect, right? So what if, uh, you know, we tend to make a lot of mistakes <laughs> on our SQL queries, which I do. Um, WPDB also has a show errors method that you can put ahead of it. And so let's say we got post title wrong and we just actually put title instead. So if we refresh, it'll come up with a nice little uh, database error called unknown, unknown column title in field list. So that's a great way, great thing to put in there when you're in kind of debugging and kind of building out these queries to begin with. So let's uh, remove that and let's remove this. Next up, I want to uh, show you um, another method. This one's called get row. So with get results, you're just kind of making a query and you get essentially what you ask for. But this is a little bit more specific. You're saying, give me a row of data that exists in the database. So if we wanted to get all the post titles and we wanted to order them by comment count, we're getting one post where that has the highest comments, the highest number of comments um, out of all the other posts. So if we refresh that, we're gonna get the post title back from there. So if we wanted to get everything from that row, we can just change that up. And now we have everything that exists in that row in the database for that post that has the most comments. So that's handy as well. Uh, we also have another method called get call. So this is just grabbing a individual column from a list of um, potential posts. So we're grabbing 10 posts here, we're ordering them by comment count, and we wanna grab the post title from each one of those. So if we var dump those, we will get the post title from all of the comments, uh, from all of the posts that have the highest comments. So if we had more than that, we only have seven posts in here. So we don't actually hit this limit, but if we were to do like, you know, five or something like that, it would bring us down to five. And this goes from the most amount of uh, uh, comments to the least. So that's great if you need to grab an individual column from um, the query. Now, if you just needed to grab an individual item, like an individual variable from the database, 
In this case, we want to grab the register di registration date for anybody um, with the user login of Alex. Uh, we can use this method called get var. So if we save that and refresh, we are just going to get this uh, registration date, the date that I registered that user. Um, so that's handy if you need to grab something, in, an individual item out of the database. There's also another uh, item here that we can use, which is something that I use probably the most right there with uh, get results, and that is prepare. So SQL injection attacks are a real thing, obviously, and so what we want to do is we want to use this prepare method in order to make sure that WordPress goes through its sanitation sanitization process to uh, make sure that there's no SQL injections happening in this query, because you know it's not not all your queries are just going to be hard coded by you. There could be variables that come in from either your dashboard or you know maybe the front end. Like there's going to be things that you're going to need to pull in that are not always hard coded. You can't hard code every URL or uh, query, so we need to pull that kind of stuff in. Um, in a safe way. So let's say we have a user named Alex. We're just gonna kind of repeat the same um, query up here uh, with a slight variation. So we are gonna grab the um, user, user registration date from WP users where the login is percent %s and ID is percent %d. So if you've ever worked with uh, you know those um, string methods like um, sprintf and all that kind of stuff, this will look really familiar. What that's saying is that the string and this is going to be a digit. So we are passing in, we can pass in after this first comma um, more arguments into it where those are variables. So this first one, let's say that's coming from you know another part of our code user. And so that's going to make sure that it is a string. And then we're also going to check um, for the, let's say the ID is one. So we're just going to hard code that in there. We'd pass in percent %d to make sure that it is a digit. So if we save that and we uh, do wpd get var and we um, pass in that prepared query, we should get the same result as we got before, which we do. So hopefully that arms you with enough information to kind of get started with WPDB. It's a great little tool that, you know, you can make some really custom queries. I've used this a lot at work when you're having to do like really complex queries. Otherwise, stuff like WP um, query or get posts are probably going to be better suited. But yeah, if you're going to be doing some stuff where you really need to fine tune the query, that's a great way to do it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, uh, give it a thumbs down. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, if you have any questions. But in the meantime, thank you so much for my pa to my patrons as well. Uh, we just released our exclusive video for this month today. It's about importing um, CSVs into WordPress and being able to download images from a URL, add them to the media library, set them as a featured image, et cetera, et cetera. So some good stuff there that I think would also be pretty useful. So if you're interested in becoming a patron and getting exclusive videos every month, please uh, check out the link in the description. I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one.